Kimball County officials will soon be on the hunt for a new county attorney. In a letter dated May 31st to the Board of Commissioners and accepted two weeks ago, County Attorney David Wilson announced July 31st would be his final day in the position. Wilson says he greatly enjoyed, and it has been an honor serving in the county post the past 37 years, but it's now time for him to start moving toward retirement. He said he will greatly miss being county attorney, but time does move on, and so do our lives. Details have yet to be released on the process to be used to find Wilson's replacement, other than it will follow state laws regarding such vacancies. Vistabeam Internet is expanding its service to the Kimball area with the help of state grants. The Nebraska Public Service Commission recently announced $31 million in capital projects funds to provide broadband service to rural areas of Nebraska. Vistabeam was awarded $903,336 to service 202 locations around the city of Kimball, which will reach a couple miles outside of town, says Vistabeam CEO Matt Larson. Since receiving the grant to run fiber to each of those locations, Larson says the company has decided to fund their own project to service the entire town. Both projects will run concurrently and plan to be done by the end of 2025. Larson says, it makes sense for us to just go ahead and build the town itself since it will all be adjacent and close to the rest of the locations. The company's intention is for all Kimball residents to have access to an additional internet service, Larson says. The residential price points will run between $49.95 minus $79.95. The low end will be 100 megabit speeds and the high end will typically be for businesses to run at a speed of 10 gigabits. Vistabeam already has wireless customers who live outside of Kimball, so Larson says it will be helpful for the entire town to have access to fiber internet. We're hoping we are going to bring a lot of value to the people who live in Kimball and the other parts of western Nebraska, Larson says. We are intending to use as much local labor in building these as we can so we're hopeful that this money comes in and stays in the community. Vistabeam has been around for 20 years and is based in western Nebraska. The biggest thing is we feel like we can provide a really competitive quality broadband service that is mostly local and has a good reputation. Kimball County Court Judge Randon Rowland sentenced defendants of varying charges on June 12. Jennifer Shaw 44 of Kimball pled no contest to Class II misdemeanor assault by mutual consent. Judge Rowland sentenced her to pay fines. Shaw and another Kimball woman Nicole Gifford, 32, were involved in an altercation at Beer and Loathing April 20. Gifford also had a court appearance June 12 for the same charge where she requested a court-appointed lawyer. Her next court date is June 25. Nicolette Romero, 53 of Bushnell was arrested December 3, 2023, and charged with Class III misdemeanor criminal trespass. Romero pled no contest, after which Judge Rowland sentenced her to two days' time served. Ricky Kizar, 39, of Kimball pled guilty to Class W misdemeanor DUI first offense and an infraction of possession use of drug paraphernalia. Judge Rowland sentenced him to 10 days of jail time with three days' credit already served. Kizar will also have his license revoked for six months and was ordered to obtain an ignition interlock system on his vehicle. Kizar's attorney Stacy Bach recommended to the court that he serve jail time instead of a probation period. Based on the number of hours he's working, I don't want to set him up to fail. I don't know if he'd be able to complete probation, Bach said. He's not not willing to do probation, but he would have difficulty doing what the court would request of him. Richard Brown, 40 of Potter, was arrested February 8 and charged with Class 3 misdemeanor reckless driving first offense and Class 5 misdemeanor refusal to submit to a pretest. Brown pled guilty, and Judge Rowland sentenced him to pay fines. Kelsey Mooney, 26 of Sydney, waived her right to an attorney and pled guilty to Class 3 misdemeanor driving under suspension. Judge Rowland sentenced her to 10 days in the Kimball County Jail due to her previous convictions of the same charge. She will also have her license revoked for one year. On the evening of Saturday, June 15, 2024, at 5.44 p.m., officers were dispatched to the 600 block of South Berg Street in reference to a disturbance. Upon arrival, officers were informed of threats made against family members, along with an admission of the threats by the suspect. Michelle MCGHD was placed under arrest for terroristic threats and transported to the Kimball County Jail. At Tuesday night city council meeting, the city of Kimball swore in police officer Logan Luft as Kimball's K-9 handler. Luft will partner with the K-9 named Lucy, who is a six-month-old yellow Labrador retriever born in North Carolina. 
Lucy was sworn in as Kimball's police officer in February before heading off to her police academy. Lucy will complete her academy in September, after which she and Officer Luft will complete a 90-hour course in Casper, says Chief of Police Jose Ruiz. Lucy and Luft will perform partner drills and learn how to work together before heading out on the field. Lucy will be trained to detect six narcotics including cocaine, methamphetamine, PCP or ecstasy, heroin and fentanyl. Luft has been an officer for three years, and his first day with the Kimball Police Department was June 2nd. I'm excited to be part of the community, Luft says. And it's nice to work in a department where people know what they're doing and are able to do it. Ruiz says establishing Kimball's first K-9 unit is to combat the ongoing drug issue. With the growing population, hopefully it's a deterrent for people who want to run drugs through here, Ruiz says. The Kimball City Council unanimously approved to install four stop signs at the intersection of 7th Street and High School Street. In the June 18th meeting, Mayor John Morrison said residents have requested stop signs at that intersection. The new Clean Harbors apartments will also increase traffic in the area where a four-way stop will be beneficial in avoiding accidents. The discussion began with just adding a two-way stop and deciding which street to put it on. Currently with no stop signs, drivers traveling on High School Street are required to yield for those traveling on 7th Street, but residents say that is not what happens. Stephanie Risk McElroy and Barb Evenson who live on High School Street brought up their concerns about careless driving on that street. Evenson said, something has needed to be done there for a long time. Risk McElroy said quite a bit of traffic comes from Vista Villa and the high school kids tend to race through that street, so she recommended a four-way stop. Well, on Tuesday evening was a great turnout for Incident Command School training put on by Blue Cell LLC Kimball Hospital Staff, Kimball EMS, Kimball Fire, Kimball Police Department, Bushnell Fire, Dix Fire, City of Kimball, Kimball County Transit and Kimball County Sheriff's Office all participated. Thanks Region 21 Emergency Management as well. That is all in local news. At Kimball State Bank and Kimball Insurance, products we offer are home, auto, business, truck, farm, life, boat, RV, motorcycle, ATV, rental homes, vacant homes, and SR-22 auto policies. Hours of operation are Monday through Thursday from 8.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m., Fridays 8.30 a.m. to 5 p.m., Saturdays by appointment and closed on Sundays. We are conveniently located at 205 South Locust Street, four blocks west of the stoplights off Highway 30. For more than a century, Kimball State Bank and Insurance has been serving our community and will continue for more years to come. Call us at 308-235-4629 for more information or stop by 205 South Locust Street. Book your session to-do list. Schedule a massage, get a massage and book your next massage. Call 308-235-5189. Massage day is the best day. Book a session soon. Call 308-235-5189. Dino's Pet Spa is a groomer Nadine Munk with over 25 years of experience. They do big or small pets, cat grooming, tan scissoring, fluff dry, pick up and drop off and desheting. Warm hearts and cold noses. We love them all. Walk-ins are welcome. They are located at 303 East 3rd Street, Kimball, Nebraska 69145. Call for appointment at 308-386-8243. Adventure begins at your library. Come to Kimball Public Library for summer reading adventures. Kindergarten through 6th grade, come see a magician, make a lantern, watch a play, and more. Teens International Snacks Taste Testing, Geocaching, Laser Cut Art and Crafts, and more. Sign up begins May 13. Adults, stop in and pick up a book bingo sheet. For more information call us at 308-235-4523. Annual Pool Party is for all ages. Preschool Storytime African Safari, Ocean Exploration, a Rainforest Adventure, and more. This is all going on this summer at the Kimball Public Library located at 208 South Walnut Street. We are hiring for several positions at our Kimball Main Street Market. Please stop by and apply in person today.
summer is heating up and we have some great things on sale now at your local Main Street Market store in Scottsville, Torrington and Kimball. In our produce department, we have red seedless grapes at $1.29 a pound. Select varieties of dole chopped salad kits, two for $5 and seedless whole watermelons, 49 cents a pound. Use your co-op cash card and earn money back on your purchases. Our weekly ad is online and in our stores at Main Street Market in Scottsville, Torrington and Kimball. Proud to serve families, farms and food. The Summer Zero Fares program is going on right now around town. There is no cost to ride around Kimball for the summer. Adults and kids ride free at all stops. Safe and reliable transportation for kids going to activities including at the golf course and ball fields. Paratransit is available for at-home pickups for those unable to get to a bus stop. Route times will be put out on RideKCTS.com and Facebook Friday, June 14th. Its stops include activity areas, shopping and medical areas. Call for additional information at 308-235-0262. They have a bus service at each stop every 30 minutes. Sponsored by City of Kimball and KCTS. Kimball. For more information, call 308-235-0262, stop by at 233 South Chestnut Street in downtown Kimball or visit ridekcts.com. KCTS, we're headed your direction. Big John Classic is coming up this coming Saturday, June 22, 2024 at shoot number 7 at 109 West 2nd Street. The TTS pub is located at 112 East 2nd Street and at the Beer and Loathing Bar at 206 South Chestnut Street. We once again celebrate both our Big Johns with our community. In loving memory of John Houghton and John Aguaniga, proceeds will go to the Gilming family of Kimball for medical and daily costs due to illness. There will be 9 to 10 sign-ups at shoot number 7. Play at 11. Cost is $30 for entry includes green fees. Lunch will be available. There will also be a silent auction. 50-50 raffle race to 3, double elimination and near rules. A Culpepper and Merry Weather Circus is coming up on Sunday, July 14 at the Kimball High School grounds. Show times are 2 p.m. and 4.30 p.m. It is sponsored by Kimball Farmers Day. Get tickets. It is a great combined circus. Cost is $13 a ticket. Come to customer service to get yours today. From the KIMB Weather Center, this is your weather outlook for the next week. Tonight a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms before 5 a.m. Cloudy, with a low around 51. Breezy, with a southeast wind 10 to 20 miles per hour with gusts as high as 30 miles per hour. Thursday, a 40% chance of showers and thunderstorms after noon. Partly sunny, with a high near 83. Breezy, with a south-southeast wind 10 to 20 miles per hour, with gusts as high as 30 miles per hour. Thursday night a 40% chance of showers and thunderstorms before midnight. Mostly cloudy, with a low around 59. South-southeast wind 5 to 15 miles per hour. Friday, a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms after noon. Mostly cloudy, with a high near 84. South-southeast wind 5 to 10 miles per hour becoming northwest in the morning. Friday night, a 30% chance of showers and thunderstorms before midnight. Mostly cloudy, with a low around 57. North wind 5 to 10 miles per hour becoming west after midnight. Saturday, partly sunny, then gradually becoming sunny, with a high near 87. Saturday night, mostly clear with a low around 59. Sunday sunny and hot, with a high near 95. Sunday night, partly cloudy, with a low around 63. Monday sunny and hot, with a high near 96. Monday night, a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms. Partly cloudy, with a low around 63. Next Tuesday sunny and hot, with a high near 94. Next Tuesday night, a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms. Partly cloudy, with a low around 61. And next Wednesday, a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms. Sunny and hot, with a high near 92. That is your weather outlook for the next week. Areas of fog are expected to develop this evening for areas east of the Laramie Range into the Nebraska Panhandle. Fog could become dense for higher elevations of southeast Wyoming near Cheyenne and over the Laramie Range. Severe thunderstorms are possible both Thursday and Friday for areas east of the Laramie Range into the Nebraska Panhandle. 
large hail, damaging downburst winds, and heavy rainfall are all possible with the strongest storms. Hot and mostly dry weather will occur this weekend into early next week with low chances 10 to 20 percent for showers and storms and afternoon highs likely less than 85 percent above 90 degrees east of the Laramie Range.